What's up beautiful people? Welcome back to Train Like a Ballerina. Today we are doing a full body ballerina cardio workout. We're going to sweat, we're gonna shine, and we're gonna have a little bit of fun. A, lo a lot of fun. I'm gonna have fun. Hope you do too. Enjoy this workout guys. Begin this TLB workout with your feet slightly wider than hip width apart with your feet facing slightly outwards. Bend your knees directly over your toes and push your hips down to the ground. Now don't worry if you're not able to go far down just yet, go as far as your range of motion takes you to get a good stretch. Stretch up into a standing position and engage all of your leg muscles. Hinge your body over into a nice double hamstring stretch and push your hips down to the ground once again. Remember, your heels remain firmly on the ground the entire time. Taking a wide parallel step to the side, poking that beautiful booty out and going as low as you can go. Use alternating arms to get a beautiful twist in your back as well. For a more challenging exercise, add a small or big jump in between the side lunges. Time to raise that heart rate up with four strong star jumps followed by two deep sumo squats. Remember a sumo squat is very different to a second plie in ballet. You're sticking your butt out and your feet are wide and only very slightly turned out and your body in this version is dropping to touch the ground. Picking up the pace now and really dancing with your body. Reach as far as you can with your body to opposing sides while your lower body remains low. We're gonna do four repetitions of reaching high and then four repetitions of reaching low, low, low. Begin with your weight on your left side and if you need help with this exercise hold onto a wall or a chair with your left hand. Extend your right leg into a deep forward lunge, knees bending directly over toes, transfer into a side lunge and then to the back. Focus on keeping your core extremely strong throughout. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Onto the left side now, think strong in your head. Remember to use a wall or chair if you need. And as you gain strength, go into the center. Remember, slow and controlled is actually much harder. Grab a chair or a wall now and let's get that booty fired up. Feet are parallel, body is angled slightly forward, your core is really pulled in, shoulders back, chest open and lifting your right knee and ankle equally to the side. Keeping that body exactly where it is now and extending your right knee and foot to the back. Now the important thing about kickbacks is to remember less is more. If you're lifting your leg too high to the back, your glute will not be active and your lower back strength is going to take over. So keep that leg low but really controlled. Onto the left side now, again, think of everything really strong. Your core is tight the entire time, your glutes are engaged and your chest is open. Time for some second plies now. Remain holding onto a wall or chair for support and when you gain your strength, come into the center. Now, different to a squat, the bum on a second plie stays in. Your feet are wide and turned out and you're pushing your body down as low as you can go with your heels remaining on the ground. Even if you only go a few centimeters down and up, this exercise will still be incredibly effective. Now, when you have the second plie down pat, alternate your heels into a high demi point. Now, this exercise is going to fire up your hamstrings and glutes like crazy. Think of drawing your heel up to your body as close as you can into a high passe. You can place your hand on your working hamstring to make sure it's really fired up and engaged. Then extend your right leg back into a long attitude and repeat. Now, even though the legs are strong at working extremely hard, our upper body remains strong also, but relaxed. Shoulders pull back, chest up, and your core is tight the entire time.
on to our final exercise now, ballerina burpees. Jump out into a strong plank position, hold for a second, then jump wide with your legs in, lift your upper body off the ground, remaining strong. Place your hands inside of your legs and jump back, back into a strong plank. Now, like I say in all of my workouts, if you're not sweating and puffing by the end, go back and repeat the entire workout once more or twice more or three times more until you are. You'll always see the best results and feel the best when you push your beautiful body of yours to its absolute limit. Oh my gosh, I'm absolutely exhausted. I hope you guys enjoyed that workout as much as I did. If you liked the workout today, subscribe to my channel. There are so many more workouts and stretching sequences to come. I'll see you at the next Train Like a Ballerina workout.